I actually brought another book. <laughs> you came prepared. This is a uh, one of the most influential books uh, for me. Um, this is the French version. It's a book by Deleuze and, and Gattari called uh, uh, "Capitalism and Schizophrenia." So it's a book written in the early seventies. Um, they're philosophers, and uh, but they're looking at the history of capitalism. And the main thesis of that book about capitalism is that the uh, the enemy or the uh, antithesis of, of capitalism is not communism, it's feudalism. And their theory is that uh, what capitalism uh, goes against is not communism as much as it is feudalism, which is a mode of organizing whereby uh, capital and labor, which are the two things that you need to recombine to create value, were attached to land ownership, which was part of a feudal system versus bureaucrat, the capitalist bureaucracy, which is concerned with efficiency and rationality. So in a feudal system, you couldn't just take capital and labor and just move it around and recombine it because it was basically stuck to a plot of land uh, when in the feudal times, in the medieval times, people would sell land. The labor was attached to the land and you would buy not just the land, but uh, labor, serf, serfs or slaves uh, uh, at times. Uh, and that the labor was basically not something you could move around, right? And um, capitalism, according to Deleuze and Guattari, is that moment in time where uh, the norms, the social norms, the political norms that uh, keep labor and capital glued to a piece of land are broken. And now labor and capital can move freely around, including beyond state borders, and they can be recombined. And that is the birth of, of, of capitalism, according to them. And it basically feeds upon the destruction of the feudal system. And the way it happens is by having the emergence of sovereign states that uh, emerge against religious authorities, against city states, against the aristocracy, and create this uh, universal jurisdiction whereby they say, now, this territory is our sov sovereign territory, and we get full authority to create norms that will apply equally to everyone. So where we used to have uh, 12 different standards for measuring distances, now we will all use the metric system. Where we used to have uh, 112 different times, depending on the, ta on the town where you live, now there will be only one time, and the sovereign will decide that time. Where we used to have multiple coins and currency systems, depending on the town where you come from, now we will only use one currency and it will be printed by a central bank that depends on the sovereign. And now that we have this kind of homogeneous sovereign territory that is created, we can take capital, labor, anywhere, and we can move it around. The, the standards are there. They're consistent. And so you can start moving things around, recombining it in creative ways, and you can create value in ways that we couldn't before. And when you see the growth rate, uh, uh, that starts to be, you know, pumping up in capitalist societies. When when that happens, that uh, you really see the contrast with feudalism, that where there was very little opportunity for creatively combining capital and labor.